When it comes to keyboard shortcuts, Affinity Photo binds several tools to these same keystrokes, and it does this for logical tool groupings. For example, all of the main retouching tools are grouped under the J key. So if I press J on the keyboard, that will select the Healing Brush tool. However, if I already have the Healing Brush tool selected, and I press J again, that will now cycle to the Blemish Removal tool. A third press will cycle to the Patch tool. A fourth press will cycle to the Red Eye Removal tool. And a fifth press will cycle to the In Painting Brush tool. At this point, if I press J again, it will now go back to the beginning of the tool group and reselect the Healing Brush tool. Now, this behavior is fine for most workflows, but you might find it slightly intrusive if you are prone to accidentally pressing a key more than once. For example, you might press B for the paintbrush tool, but you might accidentally tap B again and select the pixel tool inadvertently. There is a really quick way to change this behavior, however, and it's accessible through the Preferences menu. If you're on Windows, Preferences will be under Edit here. So we go to the Preferences menu, go to the Tools category, and we want to enable this option here, use Shift modifier to cycle tools. Then close the Preferences dialog down. Now, if I try and press B to cycle these tools, I now get a notification sound, and I can no longer cycle through those tools. I have to hold Shift and press B, which will now allow me to cycle to the Color Replacement Brush tool, the Smudge Brush tool, and finally, it will allow me to get back to the Paint Brush tool. So now I have the Paint Brush tool selected, I can no longer accidentally tap B again to select the Pixel tool by mistake. So there we go, just a really quick look at tool cycling and how to change the default behavior.